How Stellantis's STLA medium platform will help improve millions of EVs range. Why Stellantis is allowed to resume construction for its $3.7 billion EV battery plant and which iconic vehicle Toyota plans to bring back to the U.S. Good morning, I'm Kristen Strakalaitis. Welcome to First Shift. More on those stories in a moment, but first, carbon neutral e-fuel may be used to increase certain gas-powered vehicles' powertrain lifespan. Automakers such as Porsche, Stellantis, Ferrari, and BMW say they are looking into using the e-fuel to extend the life of its internal combustion powertrains in their sports cars and pickups. The upside of the e-fuel is it allows an internal combustion vehicle to run nearly as cleanly as an EV with no changes to the engine, fuel injectors, other components, or emissions systems. According to a recent study by the Internal Council on Clean Transportation, oil refiners such as Shell and Exxon are developing e-fuels. The study also says e-fuel could cost more than $11 per gallon. Stellantis has big plans for its STLA medium platform. The automaker says the platform, a battery electric vehicle by design, will be integrated in at least 2 million EVs a year, starting with the Peugeot 3008 crossover by the end of 2023. Stellantis also says the platform will give vehicles an estimated 435 miles of range. The STLA medium platform is one of four electric architectures that the automaker announced in 2021 when Fiat Chrysler and PSA merged to become Stellantis. Sticking with Stellantis, construction has started back up for its $3.7 billion EV battery plants in Canada. Back in May, the automaker stopped some construction on the plants that it jointly owns with LG Energy Solution. And ever since then, Stellantis, the Canadian government, and province of Ontario have been blaming each other for the standoff. But recently, Nexstar Energy, the name of the joint venture in Windsor, signed a binding agreement with the federal government ensuring the plant's production. And according to a statement, Stellantis said the financial deal includes the Canadian government's commitment to level the playing field with the U.S. Inflation Reduction Act. Ending on product, Toyota's iconic Land Cruiser is returning to the U.S. After being absent from the States for the past two years, the automaker announced its return with teaser images. And according to Toyota sources, its next Land Cruiser, shown on the right, will be based on the next generation Land Cruiser, Prado, which is sold overseas. You can expect to see a full reveal of the vehicle in early August. Thanks for watching. For breaking news, stay with autonews.com. Have a great day.